James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a Stefano Ricci tie. We'll be doing a review here in just a minute. Uh, it'll be my first time doing a review on a Stefano Ricci. I only own a couple of these. Um, we're going to be pairing it today with a shirt that it looks white in the picture, but actually has almost a hint of pink to it. It's a really pretty color uh, by Xenia. When I saw this, I just had to have it. So it's a super light pink, almost white. Just gives a little bit of color, uh, and it's just a very, very plain cotton shirt, very comfortable shirt. And we're going to be wearing that with a navy blue suit. So let's talk about the tie. The tie today is uh, Stefano Ricci. Actually, I probably need to press this tie, but it's going to come together for our video here. Um, and uh, Stefano Ricci is one of the higher end uh, labels out there. It's 100% silk. The thing I will say about Stefano Ricci ties, they are the softest tie you will ever feel. I mean, this silk is just like, I mean, you just want to rub this all over your face. It just has such a nice feel to it. Um, it's a uh, moderately thick. It's not super thick, but it's not real thin either. Um, and it's, these are, if I'm not mistaken, they're handmade. One thing about them is they just lay however you want them to. There's no rigidness or anything to it. You know, you can see it just pops over there. Um, very, very nice soft silk. Uh, we're going to be tying this up here in just a minute. Usually they tie a little bit of a thicker knot because of the silk. But let's see what this one looks like. This is a brand new tie. I got it in last week. Have not tied this before. It's just been my first time tying it. Let's see how it comes together. Um, we uh, got to find our spot. So I'm thinking with this being a thicker, um, you know, it's a wide tie. It's a very wide tie. It's uh, probably three and a half, four, maybe four inches. I haven't measured it, but it's right in that range. Um, probably going to need to be somewhere in this range, you know, uh, with, with as far as the spot goes. Let's tie it and see what it looks like. So we take the lo long part of the tie over top, underneath, up and through. Then we come around behind, up and over, and then back through. And this is what I call a checkpoint. We want to make sure that our knot is coming together. My phone's going off in the background. I forgot to put it on vibrate this morning. Um, then we take the long part out over top, back up and through, and then through that little pocket we just created. Now we pull it all through, holding on to the top of the pocket. And now we make our adjustments here. This is where if we wanted a dimple, we put a dimple, but I like to go just straight double Windsor. This silk is probably going to create a little bit of a dimple simply because of the the softness of the silk. Let's tighten this knot up. Let's check our length. The tip of the tie, as I always say, this should go somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And it looks like we are right there, about halfway down. So let's pull this collar down and see what this looks like. Okay. Yeah, this silk is so soft. See how it just puts a natural dimple in there? Let's tighten it up a little bit here. Well, it come together really nice. Tuck this through the flap in the back. I will say, yes, uh, I only have a couple stuff on a Richie ties. They are definitely premium. I mean, just the feel of them, the quality of them, very, very nice feel. The look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Let's put this together with a suit coat, see how it comes, see how it all looks together. Um, today, we're wearing a navy blue Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit. Um, has a little bit of a uh, 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 pattern to it. It's kind of like a little bit of a, um, I kind of lost my train of thought there. It's almost like a window pane. <clears throat> it's a very nice navy blue suit. Sorry about that, guys. I do these in one take, so you see all my mistakes and everything. We have a very faint pink, almost white, uh, Amerna Gillo Zinnia shirt. So we're in a Zinnia suit, Zinnia shirt. We have a Stefano Ricci tie. This tie is yellow and blue, so it's a navy blue, so it really pops with this. And because the yellow is kind of like an old gold, almost West Virginia Mountaineer colors, go Mountaineers, that's my favorite team. Uh, I'm pairing that with a gold Salvatore Ferragamo belt buckle with a brown Ferragamo uh, belt. And I've got on a pair of Bally Oxfords. Um, on my Instagram, Ty Guy James Acres, you'll see pictures and close-ups of the shoes and the belt and the whole outfit. But I am ready for work.